NZD USD um, this one has kind of eluded me I've, I've been not doing so well on this one um, thought it was gonna go down here had a pullback situation right there um, we're at a level that we've touched twice might be coming up on the third time I don't know it looks like we're depressed on our MACD level so it wants to go down type of thing and it should go down that's kind of um, dangerous whenever you start thinking like that but it does feel like it should actually go down um, this is how the move kind of looks um, MACD something like that and then we got another triangle type of situation here so maybe we just slowly come down and then we drop finally uh, my job is to kind of watch us slowly come down and look for exhaustion bars uh, there's potential entry here um, but it's not it's not as uh, what's the word it's not as concrete as I really want it to be before I take this type of trade um, you see how it shapes up here you see how it shaped up in the past where there's a huge massive drop here get in early get your money get out um, really really nothing more to it even this one was we were pointing too far down we were going for a five percent trade there should have just aimed at baseline if we would have aimed at baseline we got four percent on this trade which is super interesting um, yeah instead we probably would have got out right here which is fine. It's a little two percenter. Anyways, um, there's there's timing issues with this that you really gotta um, you gotta address. You gotta pay attention to. It's it's important to pay attention to that. Uh, wrong way. So I want to go to the daily. Try to see what what we got going on in the daily. It's three eight two level. Um, two days in a row. So we had this big reversal candle first big candle which is always a uh, sign that there's you know some kind of move that'll probably be retraced because the candle was too big uh, relative to what we usually see um this is a reversal candle kind of exhaustion kind of exhaustion candle i think we are getting ready to fall off the cliff here um and so this is interesting broke above 50 ma below 50 ma above 50 ma this is a weekly chart now which way you think we're going are we going way above you know are we going to drop down this is a key level right in here so i don't think we're going to go above it but uh i do think it's time to might be time to drop down see what the monthly looks like monthly looks green like it's going to close green just fine anyways um i'm going to try to anticipate a drop here man uh, really just keep a really really close eye on this one because it could it could do almost anything, but we want to be there uh, whenever it starts moving. I said that this was going to go up. It looks like I was wrong. Um, yeah, point blank. Looks like I was wrong. There's no trade for me here, but it definitely looks like I'm wrong. It looks like it finally broke and stayed below this trend line. Notice here that it just touched it, broke it, but immediately went back above it kind of touched it here broke it came back above it then it broke it and just kind of went sideways and played on the underside of it it's playing on the other side because it wants to go down that's the real answer here um, this is what you're going to see a lot of on, on my channel as you watch it you're going to see how I changed my mind and why I changed my mind be afraid whenever you run into people who don't change their mind with this trading stuff because it changes and circumstances changes and patterns develop or patterns don't develop and then you have to make a new decision so you can't really stick to any one idea uh, too long so that's that's the interesting about thing about trading for me at least so I had, I had mentioned NZDCAD being like one of my favorites and kind of epitomizing uh, the pyramid reversal uh, trade. Um, I was hoping it would really. It comes up and then we're sideways stagnant, we drop down. We pick that drop down. It's no different than um, 
there's another trade that's on right now that we're seeing that on. I think it's USDCAD. Yeah, this one. This is huge with that because we got in back here. So we're at a 10% trade right now if we drop down to the key level from previous low type of situation. So with that in mind, um, this is a lot like NZDCAD. Except for NZDCAD was supposed to drop down. It went sideways on me right here and stayed sideways on me. Um, so yeah, it ate up a lot of the profit that was there. Uh, right now, if we got out, we're at 2%, which isn't a bad trade, but it's a long time to wait since we initiated this thing just for 10%. So we initiated this the first of the year. So we've waited 20, 30 days to make 2%, which is kind of crazy. Um, but then again, we were expecting it to stair step down the entire time it went sideways. This is a busted trade. Don't get it twisted. This is not a good trade um, and not typically what we want to see. We want to see it stay down, stay low like this. Um, not what we ended up seeing because if we get out we're right here while it's low, we're at 4%. It's much better um, than where we're at now. Instead, we saw a lot of sideways movement and whenever you see that, I should have got out. I definitely should have got out back here when it was started pulling back and went past the trend line. Should have been out right in here. Same amount that we're in right now, but I would have had a lot more peace of mind. You see what I'm saying? A lot more peace of mind whenever I'm out here because now I can kind of watch this and wait for an opportunity to take a low again. Um, yeah. The entry way up here is, this is a testament to why that works. This is a busted trade and it ended up going against us and not doing what we really wanted it to and we still made money off of it because we got in early, because we got in as soon as we saw um, an opportunity for the pyramid reversal uh, to, to be initiated. So, super interesting stuff here. And I can dig more into that, just let me know. Uh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna cut that, and then we'll go with GBP pairs.